Okay, so I promised the podcast listeners that I was going to do this video. And basically, it's how to screen compost. Now, I don't always screen all of my compost because if I'm going to put it in a pot this size, there's no reason. But if I'm going to start seeds in it, I don't want any kind of big, chunky material like a leaf that hasn't decomposed all the way or maybe like that if that was laying over a seed then it would just what all of the water would just run off of it like a shingle on a roof plus it's not going to really see sunlight under there it's not just not good conditions for germinating seeds so sometimes i do screen my compost now this is what the compost looks like right now you can see it's got some big chunks in it it's got some sticks in it on the whole it's pretty well broken down but I just want to take some of this big material out of there okay so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna screen some of this compost so what I have done is I have gotten several different types of trays here and sometimes I get these from the nurseries whenever I buy something I might have bought something and gotten that kind now notice the weave it's a different kind of weave put something behind it you can see it's a different kind of weave than say this one is it's just a little bit different so when I put them together it kind of crosses and then I have one that's a little bit more different can you see then I'm gonna put that over the top of this one now it's not going to get every little thing that's in there which that's okay I just want to get the big stuff out so let me show you how we do that so I'm just gonna put some compost in here and I'm just going to just shake that up and now it's already all the the, the soil's already gone through so here is a wood chip from the uh, the chicken coop put that in there here is a big leaf from the trees Here's uh, some stick material. Oh, here's some kind of a big root, probably because um, I pulled, I did uh, recycle some of my compost that I was using to put up uh, some, a bunch of plants that died in the snowstorm that we just had. And so, yeah, I have that. So what I have here, I'm gonna show you one more thing. So underneath here, can you see this? Let's see, oh, there's my pencil I was looking for. So, so I have a big, I think this is like a, I think this is like a concrete mixing tray. I don't know what you call this really, but uh, it fits in some grooves in my potting bin. So it has a board here and a board here and it has, so it has a little lip for this thing to sit on. And then it has one on the other side as well. But, so it's got a little bit of space in between. So big chunky things can fall down through there. So what do I do with all this stuff that falls down in here? I'll just take that whenever whenever I feel like it over to the compost pile and I'll just uh, put it back through the compost pile again. It'll break down a little bit more, a little bit more. There's an avocado seed. Sometimes I'll find, um, well, there's an avocado plant that tried to grow. I think that's the one I lost in the freeze. Um, sometimes I'll find a corn on the cob in there, but I'll just take this back to the compost bin and recycle it. Okay, so one of the things that I'm always saying on the podcast is budget is a, an issue of time, space, and money. It's not just money, right? You gotta have some place to put stuff. You've gotta have time to do whatever it is. So um, I've seen a lot of fancy screening compost gadgets and things, really cool things that people make, but I don't really wanna spend the time. I don't mind spending the money for it, but I don't really have a good place that I could really keep it. Not right now, it's not a priority right now. So this thing works for me. And you know, again, I don't try to screen all of my compost because if I'm putting it in here, it does not matter if there's any eggshells or any pieces of bark or any leaves or any sticks. It just doesn't matter. Whew. All right. 
that's going to do it for this one but that is how i screen my compost there's a lot fancier ways to do it there's a lot more cool ways to do it there's a lot more expensive ways to do it but this to me is just such an easy fix I already have these and I have tried so many things. A sifter won't work, it's too small. I've tried this thing, it's too big. <laughs> I've tried expanded metal of the shelf that I already have. This is what I found that works for me. All right, if you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and you can share it with someone if you, if you know someone who's really into it and you can subscribe and that's it, I think. That's all. All right. It's getting hot in here. Sure. See you in the next one. Bye for now.